I'm gonna stop. I'm getting my like words twisted. <laughs> My name is Alyssa Andrew, and I'm a postdoc in Dr. Nadia Rohn's lab. I am originally from the Caribbean, I'm an island named Antigua, and um, have since moved to Georgia, where I um, did my undergraduate um, work. So I got a um, bachelor's in biology and French, and um, then returned back to the University of Georgia to get my PhD in infectious diseases, um, where I spent time um, studying malaria infection during pregnancy, and specifically using in vivo models to identify therapeutics that can improve pregnancy outcome during malaria infection. So I joined Nadia's group um, because I was really drawn to the techniques that she's using to understand HIV pathogenesis. Um, and specifically, she's really interested in the female reproductive tract and how that, you know, is permissible to um, increase HIV infection. So I was really drawn to the women's health aspect of her research. I really like working at Gladstone, uh, first of all, because of the people. So there's uh, definitely a true sort of family-oriented feel here, and I work with some really amazing colleagues. Um, I also really enjoy um, the opportunities for camaraderie, um, things like our uh, Hall of Halloween celebrations or holiday celebrations where we kind of really get together um, and, and socialize. I really also enjoy the benefits that Gladstone provides for postdocs. Um, so that was a really important factor in me um, being able to move across the country from Georgia to San Francisco um, to do amazing research. So I'm really, really excited about um, uh, the people, the environment, and of course, the benefits. Yes, I was interested in science as a child. Um, so growing up in the Caribbean, um, science was definitely really, really heavily emphasized as you know, a subject matter that a lot of me and my peers were um, sort of encouraged to go into. So it started that way, and then I got fortunate enough to actually really like it. Um, and so I spent a lot of time just trying to decide, you know, what aspect of science do I really want to work on? And that's when I realized, you know, starting first in, um, in my PhD studies, that I really want to work on um, questions relevant to women's health and infectious diseases. My decision to go to graduate school, um, it really sort of happened uh, by accident in a sense. So, Initially, I was planning to go to medical school, and on the way there, I learned that I should um, get some biomedical research um, experience as an undergraduate. Um, and so that uh, requirement really um, is what sort of brought me to the research field. And initially, the plan was just to check the box, get some research experience, go to med school, change lives. <laughs> um, but ultimately, I really found that I loved it. I really liked being sort of at the edge of knowledge. I liked designing experiments. I liked um, getting the data and the results and trying to interpret it. And really, you know, finding question or answers to questions that haven't been answered yet, but they're very important to human health. Um, and so from that, I mean, my last year in, in graduate school, I, I'm sorry, in undergraduate school, <laughs> um, last year in college, I um, applied to the MCAT, I applied uh, for medical school, but I already knew I was going to grad school. Um, and so for me, you know, on the way to doing what I thought I needed to do for medical school is when I found my passion for research. Currently, my research focuses on understanding T cell responses to HIV infection, um, and specifically understanding how antiretroviral therapy can impact those T cell responses. So really, we know that um, uh, antiretroviral th therapy is very, very effective at maintaining um, viral load, suppressing any sort of um, uh, immune activation and all of the other HIV-driven immunological defects. Um, but we also know that there's still some persistent uh, inflammation that 
occurs chronically in people living with HIV, and that that inflammation can lead to um, um, differences in the HIV reservoir and thus uh, challenges for HIV cure. And so currently I'm using Cytoff to help us phenotype um, HIV-specific T cells, um, both prior to antiretroviral therapy and then several times after, so longitudinally after starting um, therapy, to help us understand how the timing of ART can really mediate immune responses um, in terms of T cell response to infection. I really like to go outside and explore. So being here in SF, there's so much to see, so much to do, and the weather is perfect for it. <laughs> so especially coming from Georgia, where it's always really, really hot, it's nice to have cooler weather to explore. Um, so I like going out and hiking and just exploring the city, as well as spending time with my family, my partner, our dog, um, just relaxing overall. <laughs> yes, I do. So surprisingly, I'm really good at improv, or maybe not surprisingly, it's just people who know me. Um, <laughs> but it was something that I decided to try for the first time last year. So there's an improv group um, locally at UCSF. Um, and actually, one of the, the organizers is actually an investigator here um, at Gladstone. But I decided to try it and had a huge uh, epiphany of like, this is amazing. This is so much fun. This is creative. This is uh, activity that I don't usually get to do. Um, and so I think I'm really good at it. So I would say that's my hidden talent is improv.